This is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take you for a walk around a North Star Iron Bull tilt equipment trailer. This particular trailer is a 16 plus 4 model. It's a 14,000 pound GVWR. Shown right now with optional aluminum wheels and it's also got the optional front winch plate. I'm just going to take you around this guy front to back, show you the features and specs, a little bit of what's different about this versus some of the other units on the market. Starting out up front, 2 and 5 16 adjustable coupler, or we can also go with a pinnel. It's got your safety chains. Uh, this has a uh, 5 position adjustable coupler, 6 bolt. It's got your standard 6 inch channel tongue. It's a full wrap tongue, runs, runs back to your uh, spring hangers. A couple nifty little things. I like how the coupler's done. Got a nice spot for your plug when you're not using it instead of laying in the dirt. Reinforcement in the center. It's got your 12K spring assist jack. It's a bolt-on jack, that way if you booger one up, which certainly never happens, easy to replace. It's got a sealed wire harness, so basically right there on back is one piece, and from there forward is another piece. The jack's nicely done. Never seen any other manufacturer do this. Not that it might be out there somewhere, but I have yet to see the uh, ball bearing on the jack handles, a nice little touch. I like the way the uh, LED tucks in, all LED lights, and then the, uh, the mount uh, is a nice flush design. And then uh, this has the optional winch plate up front. A lot of tilt trailers get winches, so this one here, we've put that on standard. Uh, rub rails, stake pockets, chain spools or pipe spools, and D-rings are all standard. Tons of tie-down locations on the trailer. Again, folks, it's got the full wrap tongue, six inch channel mainframe. This one here's got a uh, cushion cylinder. One nice feature about the trailer, it's got a stop valve. That's what you see over there, the second cylinder. It allows you to lock the cylinder in an up, down, or somewhere in between position for loading uh, multiple pieces of equipment. There's other different uses you could use it for. Of course, it's got your uh, lock out there up front. One really nice feature about this tilt that a lot of other ones don't have is full width loading. It's 83 inches between the fenders. You're going to find a lot of tilts are going to be somewhere between 77 and 82 inches. This one here, it's kind of a slick design. They've got a nice fabricated part that attaches to the fender and it comes right down over the mainframe. That gives you the full width loading I was telling you about. It's also nice because the fenders give you a little bit of safety depending on what you're loading. If it's uh, winter or icy conditions and you're sliding, fenders give you a little bit of built-in protection and safety. It's got a nice, uh, it's got a nice fender gusset. Again, your LED lights. It's got your double broke tread plate fenders. Uh, here we've got the optional aluminum wheels. Standard would be, uh, of course, steel wheel with a 235-80-16 10 ply radial tire. Standard on this trailer is uh, removable fenders. So you got removable fenders on both sides. That would be ideal if you wanted to load something like a car. It would enable you to get the door open. It's also useful for a few other things. If you wanted to uh, fork skids on from the side, you could take a fender off, get the placement centered, or of course you could just load up from the rear and put the skids where you need them. Nice low load angle, it's taper cut. Gets you a uh, very, very generous load angle and also a very uh, smooth transition. You notice the taper at the very end. Another nice feature we like about this trailer is the way the uh, lights are cut out at the back. Some notch the tail and you got about a two foot opening. This one here, you got your uh, DOT stop or DOT marker lights and uh, you don't waste any of the deck doing so. Now folks, this is a 16 plus four, which you would think would be a 20 footer, but that generally on Texas built tilts does not count that tail. So a lot of times a 16 plus four ends up more like a uh, 21 and a half foot trailer with your tilt section being about 17 and a half instead of 16. Again, uh, normally a good bit of that uh, knife edge does not count into the length. Trailer is powder coated with Sherwin-Williams powder coat, Dexter axles, 7,000 pound. Now folks, this is torsion suspension. If you're not familiar, it is a very smooth ride. Also comes with a longer warranty. You can easily notice torsion because there's no spring hangers or equalizers in the middle of your, uh, your wheel area. Torsion gives you a very smooth ride. It's been around quite a while. It's proven. Uh, your axle tubes on torsion are more square than round. 
16 on center floor cross members are standard. Folks, I'm going to take you for a walk up this trailer just to show you kind of how the cushion dampener works. So basically, you release the, uh, the valve up front, and it's going to tilt back to the position it's in now. As you take your piece of equipment up on, it's going to cushion down. It takes about five seconds. Okay. And this one was in the locked position. And it just snaps in place. And you release your stop valve to the closed position so nothing could uh, come open going down the road. So again, this is a 16 plus 4, 14,000 pound. It's an iron bull. If you have any questions on this trailer or any of our other trailers that we sell, give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at best choice trailers.com thanks for looking